The key to getting the information you expect from AI tools like ChatGPT is something you might not have considered. How to formulate your request, or in other words, the prompts you use when interacting with these platforms. So in this video, we'll explain what prompts are, how they work, and provide you with some tips for crafting them in the best way possible. This will ensure that you're using this tool to its full potential. Let's not wait any longer. Let's dive in. In artificial intelligence, a prompt is a set of instructions given to the tool to make it perform a specific action. In other words, a prompt is the instruction a user provides through a dialog box to obtain a specific response. The most important thing to remember is that to achieve the expected result, your instructions should be clear and concise, avoiding ambiguities or double meanings. The more specific information you provide, the better the response you'll receive. When you pose a question or specify your expectations from the tool, it attempts to interpret the information you've given. Extracting the maximum amount of data always rely on algorithms and machine learning techniques. It generates a response as closely aligned as possible with this interpretation. Afterward, based on the information it has provided, you can ask further questions or statements if you feel that additional data is needed or if you desire a more precise response. How to create a good prompt? A good prompt for artificial intelligence should contain as much relevant and precise information as possible. It's essential to avoid data that could be incorrect or confusing, as well as any ambiguities or double meanings. This means that any information that could confuse the AI is best left out. Whenever possible, you should provide context so that the AI system can offer a more comprehensive response. Additionally, any questions should be as specific as possible and presented in a way that the system can understand. This applies to text-based tools like ChatGPT and also to image generation tools like DALI2. If you want to discover some of the best current artificial intelligence tools, click here. There are likely many you don't know about and you can start exploring them. But for now, let's focus on ChatGPT. Always keep in mind that what ChatGPT suggests should serve as an idea or a starting point for your task. You should never use it directly as a final content. It's important to review and add your own contributions. With that said, let's look at 10 examples of prompts you can start using with ChatGPT. While these examples revolve around the field of marketing, you can adapt them to your industry or specific needs. 1. Organize information in table format. You can ask it to organize the information or content you provide in table format. For example, you can specify your position in your company and request a SEO strategy for the next four webinars you plan to conduct. Then, ask it to create a table with different sections of the website, specifying what you want in each column. By simply providing the names of each webinar, it will propose what to include in each section of the website according to an SEO strategy. 2. Create newsletters for your database. You can get ideas on what to include in your newsletters. You can instruct it to create a subject and the text for an email based on the information you provide. You can also ask it to conduct A-B testing with the subject, giving you various options to send to different subscriber groups. Once you determine which one has the highest click-through rate and has worked best, you can apply the results to your entire list. You can also use the body text as a template for further personalization. 3. Analyze competitor ads. This can be very useful if you notice a competitor is running a Google Ads campaign on a keyboard that's of interest to you. You can show ChatGPT the ad copies your competition is using and ask it to identify their strengths and weaknesses, marketing appeals, and copywriting techniques. With this information, it will analyze the content and categorize what it finds into strengths and weaknesses, allowing you to emulate and improve those copies for your own use. 4. Create a digital analytics plan. In just a few seconds, you can access a digital marketing plan and discover 
how to achieve your business objectives. You only need to instruct it to organize various parameters into columns for analysis based on a specific analysis method. It will then provide you with the goals, KPIs, measurement objectives, and analysis segments you need for each business objective. Five, plan content. Starting with the main keyword, it can provide you with list of middle and long tail keywords. These are distinguished by the number of words in the keyword. The former typically have three to four words, while the latter are complete phrases, often in question format. This can be useful if you want to create a cornerstone page on TikTok advertising and then multiple related articles targeting derivative keywords. Six, write HTML code. If you're not very familiar with HTML, ChatGPT can generate code for a web page, landing page, or email. You can easily embed this code into a template. You can also instruct it to automatically bold keywords, for example. Additionally, you can provide it with your existing web codes and ask it to review it for errors. If any are detected, it will correct them so you can insert it again. Seven, detect duplicate content on two websites. ChatGPT can link its API to your own systems or programs. This allows you to instruct it to analyze different articles on your blog to cover the same topic and detect those with over 60% duplicate content, indicating that they are competing with each other. If you have two domains, you can compare URLs and identify duplicated content. Eight, predict campaign metrics. This is a valuable way to determine the right metric forecast for a successful campaign and achieve a return on investment based on your budget. You can instruct it on your own product or service, its price, the campaign's duration, your budget, and the ROI you expect to achieve. Requesting metrics in table format can provide you with a clear and more concise overview. Nine, plan a social media content calendar. This is one of the most common uses of this tool. You can ask it to design a content calendar for your company across various platforms. This can include the copy for each video, ideas on how to film it, scripts, or even the keywords you'll be covering with that content. 10. Write a script for a video. You can save a lot of time by asking it to write scripts on a specific topic for your social media, YouTube videos, or website. The more details you provide about how you want them, the fewer revisions you'll need to make later. Be sure to specify the themes you want to cover, whether you want an introduction and conclusion, the type of language or formality, and the script's length. If you can provide themes or information blocks in advance, the result will be much better and more comprehensive. Continuing with the theme of videos and AI, you can watch the video on the screen on the best artificial intelligence tools for generating videos. They are very useful and can surely enhance your marketing content. I hope you found this video interesting and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.